The battle is heating up tonight over Albany's effort to collect cigarette taxes from Indian retailers. News 4's Trisha Cruz reports the Tuscaroras are threatening to collect tolls on a state highway in Niagara County. For most of the day on Wednesday, traffic moved at a snail's pace along Route 31 in the town of Sanborn. This is just a preview of what could happen here if the Tuscarora Indian Reservation follows through with its plan. We're setting up uh, toll booths for a dollar to get past on the reservation. They aren't collecting taxes just yet, but that's their plan and they're letting drivers know. Nicholas Patterson and Adrian Bigfoot say they will be out here every day until the state backs down from its plan to collect cigarette taxes from non-Indian customers. They want to tax us, you know what I mean? I think it's time we tax them. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's vice versa. It could work both ways. On Tuesday, a New York State appeals court lifted a temporary restraining order that blocked the state from collecting the taxes. The most recent plan would do so through wholesale manufacturers that ship their products to reservations. Indians who live on reservations would still be able to buy tax-free cigarettes. Cigarettes produced and sold on reservations would not be taxed. But Indians say that collecting any taxes from their cigarettes is unacceptable. This is how a lot of people make their money out here. And then so what if they start taxing cigarettes, they could start taxing our food out here that we sell to our people out here. I think they should. I think Patterson should leave them alone with the taxes. This will continue as long as the state doesn't leave the Indians alone. It's just like crossing over Grand Island. They have the right to do that. We're imposing our, we're saying that we have the right to also do that. But just because they may have the right to do that doesn't mean they will. The Tuscarora Indian Reservation says right now they're just trying to make a point. In the newsroom, Trisha Cruz for the 10 o'clock news.